meet Wade and Maya, a couple who has been married for a bit, now wants to go to the forest of werewolves. They want to see this legend come to life. Okay, they've heard about this werewolf. They were like, nah, I don't think this werewolf here. But what they don't know is the werewolf was here that night and he came to attack them. Okay, he was out here and he was like, what are you doing in my forest? Humans are not allowed here. And she was like, pick on your own size, okay? I know how to fight you too. They really thought this werewolf wasn't going to come out. They weren't really that prepared. It was sort of like a date night idea. And sadly, this werewolf was feral. He attacked them and he said, I'm going to bite both of you guys. And one of you guys will have the real werewolf bite that will make you into a werewolf. And you will suffer and have to live with this. You hate werewolves? Well, now you'll hate this forever. Hi, my name is Sasha. I am doing a cast collaboration with Cimarella Creations. It is the CC to no CC. You are now looking at my sim with CC. This is all her outfits in every category. And you got to watch Cimarella's version where she will make them into vanilla. Now, when I tell you that, when I saw Cimarella do, you know, send me her sims that were vanilla for me to CC up, she knows her sliders. And I could tell, you know, when you play in cast all, you could tell when somebody does well with the sliders. Like, it was absolutely amazing. I really was like, you know, there's mods to even like get it to be a certain way for you. And Cimarella does it without any mods. I was looking at the Sims bone structure. Ms. Maya, Cimarella, you did that. Okay, y'all need to check out Cimarella Creations on YouTube. I will leave Cimarella's info and hopefully an i card that will pop up for you to check Cimarella's channel because Cimarella is so creative. Uh, she does like vanilla LPs and like you know builds oh my god and then there was like even how-to videos for like tips bro anything Cimarella uploads I'm gonna press play okay <laughs> I you will see me actually you will see me in Cimarella's comments if you already subscribed you already know me you're like oh I see this Asha girl bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's how much you know i absolutely adore cimarella like there's like i there's obviously so many simmers i adore but there's a spe special special place in my heart for cimarella because the, cre the creativity is there like y'all if you watch the lps you know there's like a machinima intro there's a like a budget you know what i'm saying there is a budget with cimarella's content okay i love the intro the oh 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 like it's in my mind rent free <laughs> i absolutely adore you cimarella and thank you so much for this collaboration you know i really like you know cimarella says she wants to collaborate with me bruh i've been wanting to collaborate with cimarella cimarella is like one of my dream collabs okay like i am so happy to be able to do this so miss maya i was having a hard time with what hair to pick right because i'm reading the backstory from cimarella you know cimarella says that the story of maya and wade is that they're married and they fell in love through tragedy wade's mom and maya's sister were killed years ago during a wolf pack raid so if you know me i'm not really even the most perfect simmer with this whole occult stuff like i really wanted to honor cimarella's ideas and creation of the sim they seem like that couple that was cutesy that had that purple hair in them and i wanted to have that i didn't want her features to be different you know the idea of this is just to do cc you know so i really didn't want to do the most so I found the perfect hair and you're allowed to dye it you know purple and i was so happy so then i was like okay if i'm giving her long hair there must be like a time jump you know because she has shorter hair originally so in my mind there must have been a couple of years time jump if, especially if you saw that machinima intro you know that both of them got attacked by a werewolf and the werewolf taunted when are y'all gonna be a werewolf you know and they don't know who's going to be the werewolf they have to literally suffer together and you know this werewolf in this forest was kind of like you know a for a folk tale type thing a legend you know it, nobody's ever been seen when they caught when they see this werewolf they're not seen again because this werewolf was evil like the, straight up would bite you and you and your friend or you and your lover you and anybody you were with and one of y'all had to live with that sort of misery and usually people would just run away or they would 
D-I-E, or you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of messed up stuff. So, you know, in my mind, this is years later, you know, her and her husband, they're estranged at this point. Like one of them is a werewolf and they cannot live with that information because of the trauma and the tragedy that they went through they're like yo like we've been grieving all these years and now we have to go through this sort of tragedy again you know so in my mind i was kind of like okay y'all need to guess who the werewolf is i need to see it in the comments <laughs> i need to see your guesses and obviously i'll give you the answer don't worry okay where one of them is the werewolf and y'all will see it okay but yes please guess so like i said this is a bit of a time jump and he kind of has his hair a little bit cut he has his curls out and he went with like a bilateral if that's the word you know cut where it's like in the middle one color you know they're still in love they still have that cutesy couple feel to them you know and i really wanted to bring that up for him i think he's so amazing and if you don't know me i really didn't know what on earth i was doing i had to contact Cimarella. i was like girl what's this division <laughs> and Cimarella even sent me some photo ideas like i'm the one who actually approached her like do you want to do this sort of werewolf thing and i didn't know what i was doing you know obviously i like a challenge i'm a human being i want to try something different all the i don't want to be the same you know what i'm saying like, I don't want to be the same, stuck into the same thing all the time. I really want to change it up. So I went back to her because I, you know, again, I wasn't sure what look to go for her. So I that's why I said I had to contact the Cimarella to make sure if this was an okay look for her. If this was sort of the vision. Also, you know, the whole werewolf hunter vibe. So I'm so happy that she was cool with it and like i saw that the hair was blue the second one so i was like you know what i want to again like honor the ideas and the creations behind Cinderella creations <laughs> and i wanted to really get this whole werewolf vibes out and like i said y'all through both their looks you won't really know like i give them some moon stuff la da 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 you know what i'm saying so that you don't know who's who okay but in all seriousness i think this was so fun to do i'm so happy with working out uh like this all working out and coming out together like wow okay y'all need to check out Samarella's creations after this okay please Samarella is so talented okay there's so much gameplay stuff i didn't even know existed in the game had i not watched Samarella creations videos so please if you're a simmer who just loves watching gameplay storylines creativity miss Cimarella is the simmer to subscribe to i am not playing with you if you think i'm creative bruh you didn't see Samarella creations yet okay this is someone, like I said, I absolutely have so much respect for. I adore Samarella. Thank you so much again, Samarella, for this collaboration. And I wish you all a lovely day. But don't forget, there is a mission in my ending for y'all. So you can get the answers. Oh, one more thing. I gave her like a tattoo you know like an owl tattoo for the night and like some extra stuff for her um you know to look like she added stuff you know that it's been years obviously i didn't want to remove the old tattoos because like who does that you know <laughs> So I also wanted to tell y'all that I gave her two night looks, one with a bonnet and one without a bonnet. And then um, her husband, I gave him like body hair because I know y'all heard of that body hair update. So I wanted to do that. I can't wait for that body hair update. That is so cool that Sims are going to have body hair. And there's a new cast category called body scars so yeah just enjoy the songs i pick for y'all and watch the lovely cc transformation of this beautiful couple and not only that don't forget to watch my sims in their vanilla form okay all i ever wanted was you but you left me alone inside these empty broken walls and i can't see Clearly, but it's obvious I know that you left me
be two endings for the werewolf hunters back at home maya cries what are we gonna do wade what are we gonna do this will change our relationship forever wade tries to calm her down you don't have to worry at the end of the day we have each other's back maya says you know you're right you're right we we do we do they try to chat joke they they're convincing themselves that they're still gonna have each other's backs no matter what when obviously it's not the case underneath the sheets they both know one of them will walk away from each other 
the werewolf hunter will be hunted just in one night from hunter to hunted then the real transformation begins wade becomes a werewolf maya bewildered by her husband's transformation and wade tries to calm her down she tries to act calm but she cannot live with the werewolf after the trauma she's experienced with her family she leaves wade behind alone confused and now that it's years later here is ending one wade lives with the reality of being a werewolf now he's sort of used to who he is he's accepted that he's not the average werewolf because of his trauma he does not want to hurt them and magically he sees his wife years later and he thinks is this real are we good and maya says it took me years to heal like when we first met it took a while for us to heal from the werewolf trauma and you know turn into werewolf hunters but i know you wade and i had to convince myself you weren't gonna hurt humans like our families got hurt this reunion is amazing they are going to continue where they left off as a married couple maybe start a family and you know hunt together and be against werewolves now that maya actually has a werewolf on her side i bet these werewolves won't know what's coming for them and now let's start ending two maya comes over to see wade and here she is telling him, I still am not over it. I still feel like you are a werewolf beast. He's like, I could not control what happened to me. She's like, I don't care. You are a werewolf. And he's like, no, I'm not. I'm not the average werewolf. She's like, I don't believe you. Our families have been hurt. And you know what? You would have done the same thing to me. You would have been against me. You would have left me behind too. And he's like, I wouldn't have left you behind. I would have been by your side. And he's trying his best to convince her. And you know, sadly, Maya, she's trying to act like she's okay with the situation this time around. She's trying to buy herself some time so that she can catch him off guard. With slight hesitation, she smacks that bottle on his head and leaves behind. You got a problem with me? I am a werewolf hunter. And what? Don't forget to watch Cinderella's version of how she will change these sims from CC to vanilla. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this fun cast type Mishinema video and I wish you a lovely day. Once again, thank you so much Cinderella. I absolutely adore you. Take care everyone.